bunnies, it's Mio, and today I have a UV resin tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make this really cute kitty cat charm holding an ice cream cone. This charm is incredibly easy to make, you just need a few materials, and of course it's not just a UV resin charm, it's actually made with polymer clay as well. And for more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already, and do subscribe to my Instagram and Twitter if you like more updates about videos to come. If you actually want this charm, I'm giving it away in person. I'm attending the Acon 28 Anime Convention at the Fort Worth Convention Center. If you're one of my viewers, come say hi. And if you're the first viewer to say hi to me, I'm going to give this charm to you. I would probably be very hard to spot because I am an Asian girl and I am probably going to cosplay as someone from Attack on Titan. But if you know what I look like and you see me, feel free to say hi and I'd love to meet a few of you guys. So let's go ahead and get this tutorial started, shall we? You're going to start off with your base charm. I have an open bezel charm that I purchased online. I'll provide a link in the down bar so you can purchase one here. And to start off, you're going to need some clear tape. It's okay if it's not clear, it's just easier to know what colors everything is if you use a clear tape. Make sure it's large enough to cover your entire charm. And this is going to form the back part of your charm. It's also going to be the foundation of where you put all your resin on top of. So I'm using this paint holder to help me mix my UV resins into different colors, but you don't have to use this. You can use anything that you don't mind getting dirty. And this is the UV resin I'm using. Any UV resin is fine. Or if you don't have UV resin, you want to wait for it to dry. That's completely fine too. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of UV resin into my palette. And I'm just using regular paint. You can see it's craft paint. And with a toothpick, I'm just going to take a little bit of paint and start coloring my UV resin into the colors that I want to use for my charm. So here you can see that I did some brown, pink, and a pale yellow, and I'm just going to use this amount of resin to color in my bezel piece. I'm just using a toothpick. If you have a paintbrush, you can use that too. I'm just using whatever is near me, and you really don't need that much UV resin to fill in your bezel because it's actually a very, very thin, flat surface, so you just need a very thin layer. As you can see, this is pretty much how I colored in my bezel charm, and now I'm going to put it under my UV lamp. The UV lamp I have is actually to cure nails, and those lamps work just fine, but if you have an actual UV lamp for crafting, you can use that too. Depending on how strong your UV lamp is, it really determines how long you end up putting this underneath the lamp. Mine only takes about two minutes. So once you're done, you'll notice that this pretty much hardens into a hard acrylic plastic, and I'm just going to add a second clear layer of UV on top of this brown part and I'm doing this because with this resin I'm going to add glitter to it to make the bottom part of the ice cream scoop really sparkly. Now for the top part of my ice cream I'm going to decorate it with some sprinkles. So I rolled out some polymer clay into really thin long snakes in different colors. I baked them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit and once you're done they should come pretty rock stiff hard and you can cut them into tiny little sprinkles. So as you can see I'm just taking a blade, I'm cutting them into tiny little pieces and they literally look like sprinkles you would put on a cupcake. So I took some white UV resin that I created and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the top corner of my pink ice cream scoop and kind of drag it down a little bit so it looks like it's dribbling. And then I'm going to gently lay each of the sprinkles into the white UV resin that I placed there. And I kind of made it so that all of the colors are represented so it looks really nice, even, and colorful. Once you're happy with how that looks, go ahead and put it under the UV lamp. Mine was two minutes. Put it in there until your charm looks the way you are happy with. Now I really like how this ice cream charm turned out, but if you'd like to go the extra step, you can add a cute little kitty cat hugging your ice cream. So I'm taking some gray polymer clay and I flattened it into a small little gray disc to form the head of the kitty cat. And you need two little small triangles to form the ears of your cat. Now I want my kitten to be hugging the ice cream, so I rolled out two small pieces of gray clay into long thin snakes, and this is going to form the legs of the kitten. And I put it on top of the charm first before I position the head on top of it, so I kind of know where the head is going to be in relation to the arms. And then the rest is pretty much just putting the face together. So I put a white base for the face, I put in two small eyes, a nose, a mouth. You can add a few accents, so I drew a few lines down the center of the forehead, add some cheeks, colored the ears, 
until you're pretty much happy with how your kitten looks. So once you're happy with how it looks, make sure that it will fit and go ahead and bake it in the oven. This is what my kitten looks like after I baked it in the oven for about 20 minutes. And once you're happy with the position of it, just add some UV gel or UV resin onto it. Put it under the light and it'll stick onto there. It'll turn pretty much into plastic and stay on your charm. And that guys is pretty much all I did to create this charm. Super easy, a lot of fun to create. You just need a few materials. And I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and find it useful. Again, if you like more videos like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you want to win this charm or receive this charm, come and meet me in person at the Acon 28 Anime Convention hosted at Fort Worth, Texas. I'll provide the information to Acon in the down bar below. And if you want to know what I'll look like that day, I'll probably put it on Twitter or my Snapchat or something like that so you can maybe spot me a bit easier among the masses of people. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you soon.